Greetings, Earth children. Let's do some paper plate speakers. This is a regular speaker. It has paper on the front that moves back and forth. And then it has a magnet on the back. It creates sound by moving the front paper back and forth, which is attached to an electromagnet. That's what we got to make for our speakers. Hmm, how are we going to do that? Well, first we take a paper plate. Then we find ourselves a really good magnet. I ordered this special. It's a rare earth magnet. Super, super strong. Whoa, look at that. I'm gonna take some hot glue and uh, affix this magnet to the underside of the plate with the hot glue. This is something that your mom and dad need to help you with, by the way. Don't try to do this all by yourself. Oh, hey, I already did it for you. <laughs> so now we have it onto our paper plate. There's our magnet. It's going to pull down the uh, electromagnet that we create. This is how I'm going to make it. I'm going to take some wire out of a transformer uh, that I found, and I'm going to wrap it around a paper tube to make my electromagnet. This is the type of transformer that I took it out of. So there's my tube. I wrap the wire around. That's hot glue on there to kind of keep things from getting it all messed up. And then there are two leads coming out. The one going into the, the windings and then the one at the very end. So that slides down over the magnet. Just barely enough room to allow it to go up and down. Now because it, uh, I don't want to have to sit there and hold it all by myself all the time. I'm going to make some kind of support for that top piece. And why not make it out of paper plates? I mean, this is a paper plate speaker, right? So I cut up another paper plate uh, into a long rectangle, and then I'm folding it. And this is uh, like, you know, an accordion. You just fold one direction, fold it the other, blah, 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 blah. The idea is when we're through to have something that uh, create some kind of bouncing effect. So here we have it now, uh, all folded up. I'm going to trim it off. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then cut it into thirds. Okay, here we go. One, two, and I have my third already. I'm going to hot glue those to both plates. See, there you go. Now I've got some uh, shock absorbers. Okay, let's try putting it into my phone and listen to some music. I took a part of Jack using some alligator clips. I'm going to clip on to the two leads on the Jack in the phone and the two leads on my speaker itself. And let's see what happens. Hmm, not very loud. And I can't put that on my ear very well. What are we going to do? <gasps> I know what we need. We need an amplifier, just like your speakers do on your, uh, your computer at home. If you notice, this is a powered one. There's a light there, and it has a volume control. I drilled into it, put some speaker wires coming out, and now we're going to clip on our uh, alligator clips to the speaker wire. Again, I'm putting it into my phone. And look at that. It's actually creating a pretty good sound. If you, if you kind of barely see the sound waves in the water there, I'm moving the, the plate around so much it's hard to see. But it's actually creating quite a bit of vibration on that plate. So that's one little experiment you can do with that. When you get your speaker all done, you can do all kinds of fun things to it. You can decorate it. You can paint eyes on it or whatever. I found a box and I put it on top of the box and listen to how much more bass I get out of it. Oh, look at that plate going up and down. Something else you could try uh, is, you know, just lots of different kinds of experiments. Grab a cup, a couple little paper cups. I started first with a small one and put it on the, the uh, speaker. Yeah, a lot of rattling. Not really much difference in the sound. Turn it over. Not much. Let's try a bigger pop cup now. Adjust the camera. Sorry. There we go. Up, oh, yep. 
Okay, now we're gonna put the big cuff on. Uh, interesting. Slightly different. Let's turn it over and see what happens. You know, just whatever you do to it, you're gonna want to hot load it off. 